Can a band like Black Sabbath and a game franchise like Metal Gear be similar? According to this video, they can. It's not a conspiracy theory, it's just about video games and music. In the late 60s in Birmingham, four young men formed a band that would write history in the heavy metal scene. After a few changes, they decided to stick with the name Black Sabbath, which was also the name of their debut album released in February 1970. It took them about three years and several iconic albums including Paranoid, Master of Reality and Sabbath Bloody Sabbath before they saw the band's fame growing and finally making their way to the top. In the late 80s, Konami released Metal Gear, a game developed by Hideo Kojima that would write history in the video game's action genre. <laughs> Similar to Black Sabbath, it took three years before everyone admitted that the Metal Gear series were no longer just promising, but a massive hit. It was the release of the second entry on the series that turned the dial. Black Sabbath consisted of talented musicians, and although the legendary guitarist Tony Iommi was the leader and the mind of the band, it was Ozzy Osbourne's presence and performances that seemed to make the band special. Speaking of special ones, the Metal Gear series had their own unique and popular protagonist, Solid Snake. Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful, I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookies' eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. For very different reasons, both Black Sabbath and Metal Gear series saw their starring men taking a long break, and although they were both replaced by outstanding individuals, the albums and games released after were never the same. In fact, five different lead singers including Ronnie James Dio and Ian Gillen will join Black Sabbath before Ozzy Osbourne's return, with only half of the band's overall albums featuring him. Same story with Solid Snake, he was Metal Gear series' main protagonist, holding the flag for almost half of the games until he was replaced, with the rest of them featuring characters like Liquid Snake and The Boss. As in every successful story, there are some darker moments. The dysfunctional relationship between Naomi and Osborne was one of those, and despite the successful reunion, last album and tour, in March 2017, Black Sabbath announced the end of the band. For the Metal Gear series though, it was the relationship between Hideo Kojima and Konami. Kojima never tried to hide his feelings about the increasing control Konami was getting on the Metal Gear franchise over the years, mostly because of all the spin-offs they were releasing, and he admitted that his impact on the series was reducing. In July 2015, the rumors about Konami closing Kojima Productions became true, and that was the end of an era. Black Sabbath are considered as the fathers of stoner rock, sludge and doom metal, and they have been the main influence of many other great bands. What the British band has been for the rock and metal music scene, Metal Gear series is for action-adventure games by introducing stealth elements and cinematic cutscenes that define the genre. Same as the Birmingham rock legends, it has been an inspiration for popular game franchises such as Dishonored, Splinter Cell and Hitman series. With Black Sabbath breaking up for good and Hideo Kojima moving his video game production career away from Konami, it looks pretty impossible for their fans to witness anything more in the near future, or at least nothing close to what they love them for. Konami still holds the rights for the Metal Gear series and there's no doubt they will develop more games for the franchise. Black Sabbath may also reunite for a tour or an album with or without Ozzy Osbourne. However, none of those scenarios seem to be very promising, with the legacy of those two heavily relying in the past and not the future.
One thing is for sure, Black Sabbath's first albums and Hideo Kojima's Metal Gear series will always be considered as masterpieces, who keep influencing and inspiring the new generations, and fans of heavy metal or stealth action games will always come across those two.